detail on the title screen. For a second. And, uh, I mean, you should know that the music is a highlight of a game that is completely based around it. I mean, the word treble is in the name. You got that music back in the background. It's gonna be a good one to kick off the down. Where the splendor of the games may be downplayed, but I'm down to play them. This is an idea I've had working for a little while, where uh, a lot of the niche or weirder stuff that I like to play, I've been thinking, oh, I should show that off on a stream, or I should show this off on a stream. And I've played around with it a little bit, like, I've done a run of Cadence of Hyrule, although that's not that strange. Uh, at the end of 2018, I did a best of series of streams and did things like why I love Octopath Traveler. And then most recently, there was a little one off stream I did for Reventure. We did a bunch of routes in that game. I think it even got a second stream. So, weirdness is not anything new, panel. But this is going to be a smaller, more focused segment on the games, and I'll be doing a guided tour, let's say, of why you might be interested in playing this game. Now, uh, this game doesn't have a ton of spoilers to worry about. There's a small story, but you won't be seeing any of it here today. But in future sessions, I will try to keep things as spoiler-free as possible. To go in-depth on certain games, though, I may need to show some parts, but I will warn you about the types of spoilers you can encounter in Without further ado, let's get started on this one-off session of Tadpole Treble. This is the Encore Edition Switch. I never picked up the Wii U at all, just because I never had space for it on the Wii U. There was so much stuff eating up my store, I think. I really gotta figure out the hard drives for that. I will be opening a completed file so that I can show some of my favorite levels. But since it's complete, you don't have to worry about the story cuts. Yay! There's very few of those to be. Alright, we've got... I'm gonna show a bit of adventure mode that's like the main campaign. A very short, very cheap game get into, and then I'm going to end off the segment with composition mode. And what you heard earlier is the new downplay theme song that I actually came up with today. <laughs> Not any sooner, I woke up and realized I might want a theme song. And then I made one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it into the Tadpole Treble Mario Paint composition tool and see how that goes. But first, some adventure stages. I think that's the main reason you want to pick up the game. There we got this small little map. There's about 13 levels when all is said and done. And I'm just going to show you how the game opens. Right here at Tadpole. our frog mama hit that button get out all right you got two controls one move you can use the stick or the d-pad move along the spaces and the lines like on a musical staff want to grab that shining stuff is pure water it just score that is life if you do hit an obstacle like those spiky urchins Get your life back, and then pressing any button, any of the face buttons or the trigger, any button that is not the D-pad or the control stick, will do your little clap. And you can interact with gold objects that way. That's generally good to do, because it requires timing. Soundtrack is fine. I believe the influence is from what you would typically hear in Louisiana. I believe the studio is based in Baton Rouge. 
By the studio, I mean mostly one person. <laughs> right, this is Bitfinity's studio. Now, what you might not have picked up on about the spiky urchins right off the bat is that they're placed in accordance with where their notes are in the song, so the obstacles are what's playing the music. And uh, in case it wasn't clear, you can only move up and down. It's an auto scroll. Hit the music. So you only ever have to worry about up and down motions. No left or right. Also notice there's these pink orbs. Those are bubbles, and you can find a hundred in each stage. They themed. Or I, uh, actually, it might be more than a hundred per stage, but I've never gotten a hundred. <laughs> so. There's at least a hundred per stage. Probably just a hundred. Anyway, the reason you want to collect those pink bubbles is because there's a shop, and the more bubbles you accumulate, the more stuff you unlock. And you get to the end of the stage, and oh, plot twist! Alright, B is okay. There would normally be a cutscene after that to kick off the story, but I already beat the story, so... And... I need to worry about that. I'm gonna show off two more stages. Give you a bigger feel. How this will... So let's do Turtle Pipe. Here they introduce an obstacle. A little different, that turtle behind me. Then make quick work of me. And I'll have to do certain things to avoid getting eaten. Oh, I hit the obstacle. My life bar is up there on the top left. Admittedly, it's a little hard to keep track of my life meter, so I usually just like, well. <laughs> but, oh yeah, see, he snapped up there because I wasn't up there. I was able to avoid it. He's going for those brown kelp things. You can also jump out if there's these symbols. Bubbles. Oh, and yes, I could have hit that second symbol, but I just missed it. <laughs> Obviously, they put the good stuff in the tighter spaces. They even try to place the bubbles so that they fall in line with the beat when you pick up, yeah, pick them up and get that little E sound. And my life is back up. I'm gonna hold the A button to activate treble mode because my other meter was full, and this gives me invincibility from the obstacle until that meter runs out. By obstacles, I mean the spiky ones. I don't think it counts against the turtle or other thing. I was trying to hide the bubble down there, uh, but I still missed it. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. There's all sorts of creative set pieces to look forward to if you choose to tackle this adventure yourself. And in one final stage of the show off, it's probably one of the more hazardous of them all if my controller will let me move. Oh, I have to. Sorry, the menu was open. I had to press B. Uh, but there, that that frog, that the uh, full frog grove. This is where you, as you collect a hundred or so bubbles, stuff will unlock, and you can check on him for what that is. You can also see on the right side of this menu, there's a bunch 
of medals you can earn. So there's an S rank medal, an F rank medal, which I've never gotten one of those either. The, the hundred bubbles medal, the check mark just for clearing the stage, and that last one is called a challenge fly, which means you have to beat the stage with a special condition. You get a little hint on this menu, but that uh, those hints are actually something you have to unlock by collecting bubbles for the frog there. So, if you're going for completion, definitely grab the bubble. But anyway, Thunder Creek. I'm gonna show this off as the final stage that I go through in this overview. This one is very hazardous. Also, it's one of the lyrical songs in the also, it's just very stylized. Loving the colors. Nice desert colors. Watch what happens when I hit this. Got a little old bell like in a western. It's got a bit of a slow intro, this button. And unfortunately, if you lose, like, there's no checkpoints. <laughs> You would have to redo the entire stage at that point, so that includes that slow intro. So lightning's gonna hit the water, and you do want you don't want to be anywhere in the water when it comes. But how, what are you supposed to do? You spend all the game in the water. To attack. Well, there you go. The game just told you. Hit the symbol. You would already want to hit the symbol for collectibles. But this is the only way to avoid the lightning. If you miss one of those symbols, you will get hit by lightning. So this is a later stage. More difficult because you have to be on the ball with those. You don't need to hit every single one. Though. You can afford to take some damage. And there are some life pickups that you can set yourself up with. Uh, yeah, you're gonna hit most of them. Yeah, I could have gotten hit a bunch of times if I missed even one of those. And now I gotta avoid the uh, crabs with the gun. I guess the six shooter, is that what they'd be called in a western? Well, they only shoot once. They just don't go in their line of fire. Or at least not where their reticle is. I may have activated invincibility at a bad time there. There's not really any rocks to contend with. I don't need perfect timing. I was a little off there as well. Okay, there's the invincibility being used. I also get extra points for hitting those events. Actually, I think it did protect me from other hazards like the lightning. I never really paid attention to that because there's always so much going on. Oh my god. That's costly. Unfortunately, I did well enough leading up to that that I don't know that much. How was that an A? I still could have done so much better. Especially at that one part. And but there you go. Those are the stages I have collected. Give you a taste of this adventure. And there's ten other stages. You can look forward to, and you can try to outdo yourself on each stages. It's a high score kind of game. Even tells you some top scores over there. So that was my top score on that stage. So that's a nice moment to have on the stream. How is it? However, that's not the only mode this game has, so we're gonna back out. See what the composition mode has to offer. See if we can get the in Tadpole Treble, but I'd compare this to Mario Paint.
And the one thing I've got to say is it, uh, the one unfortunate thing is that I can't necessarily call this Switch version definitive because in the Steam and Wii U version, you could share your compositions, which are playable levels once they're all said and done, but you could share those with people using QR code. And that not, that feature's not in this version. So that offers a bit less in the way of replayability and community engagement. And I think this adventure holds up on Switch all the same, so if you're not going to miss that, by all means, go for this version. Anyway, my downplay theme is at 130 BPM. The theme is locked until... That means there's something I haven't beat yet. I think we'll set it to... 8-bit stage. I didn't show that song, but... Stage that you can play. Uh, four, four, four. Keep that grid on. You can switch between plain and invincible if you just want to run through it and hear the song without worrying about obstacles. And there you go, we got a selection of instruments, selection of in-game obstacles, have players interact with, and some modifiers. Change notes to a sharp, change their octave. I don't think I fully know what these two do. Maybe we can figure that out here. Alright, then I want to see short. Short thing. Maybe not in that spot, though. I want to at the start of the measure. Put that bolt. And G, and these are all going to be like flats, by the way. Octave changes, so this will be a little cumbersome. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't think I ever figured out how to make a hold. Maybe that's what this is. That was. Now, Scoot just allows you to move it. Stuff. Holding the button doesn't move it. And yeah, you can stack notes for chords. Let's just hear what that random sounds like. Yay, beautiful. <laughs> now it's not. <laughs> oh, it's a bit ugly. with the eraser as well. Alright, so, uh... But I want these to almost all be flat. Except to see, I want the C. See if that sounds the way I want it to. All right, I gotta raise the octave. Heard those notes. All right, now let's see if that sounds how I want it to. I think the G needs rather the rather the F natural because it's a G flat. I'm just realizing. Those are the right them. I wish I knew. 
Oh, maybe these. I think these allow you to make. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. The one mystery I had not answered about this is solved. Yay! Okay. Uh, I wonder if I can just change the... Alright, I think I'd have to erase it. Oh, but it's stacked. I think you can have them play at the same time as well. Alright, so the question is, what instrument do I want to carry on with before I have to undo a bunch of stuff? That's a drum. That looks like... Fish. Like Mario Painter has a few weird ones that you took from. Uh, I just preview this without placing it. That would be nice. Heck yeah, it's music time, Nuke. You missed the little rundown of adventure mode, but I'm now showing off the composition mode as I finish up this segment of the downplay. And it's similar to Mario Paint, in a way. I'm trying to decide what instrument is appropriate for the downplay theme song, which is also something that unfortunately went missed, as that played at the start of the segment. It's also a song that I wrote today when I woke up and realized that I could write a theme song for the show. And I did. And it's a 20 second jingle that I spent the day writing. Anyway, you got any preference? Piano, guitar, fish, organ, horn, clarinet. Those maracas. Frog. Frog sounds like. Maybe that's more of a percussion frog. It kind of sounds the same no matter where I put it. So I'm going to say that's for percussion purposes. Organ. There is no rap birth option, unfortunately. They did not patch that into the game. Although, if you think that one is... I guess the organ is the closest thing to opera. <laughs> Here's the horn. <laughs> well, go, uh, go hit up Matt Taranto on Twitter and be like, Yo, guy who made a whole game. <laughs> with, uh, which is a little assistance, but his name is the one that mostly shows up in the credit. <laughs> Guy who made game almost completely on his own. You didn't know this guy, but you should put him in your little music mix. Oh, that was our Glockenspiel handle. Our xylophone for noobs. 
Glockenspiel is the metal one that tends to be higher pitched. But I suppose this is more of a xylophone. Yeah, that doesn't have the same tainaling that the Glockenspiel have. I'm just more attached to the Glockenspiel because that's what I play. Other than the piano, which is still my dominant instrument. And the only one I haven't sh uh, That kind of sounds more like a saxophone. But that's definitely not a saxophone in the picture. Nice. So, any instrument preferences, or am I just rolling with whatevs? Keep in mind, these blue ones are not instruments, they are obstacles for if I want to turn the song into a level. Okay, the quote-unquote clarinet it is. <laughs> Get rid of those guitars. Sharp, flat, raised an octave, and now we're good. All right, next notes where I'm using the song I made earlier as reference, uh, the same as the previous note. I wonder if that, is there no copy paste function for here? Guess not, huh? Not the most robust system. Like, I gotta give it that much. Don't know if it supports this, this touch screen either. Probably does. That sounding the way I want it to. Bit more space. No, no, start at the start. Ah, uh, start. <laughs> That's still more space. That's good. I can make this longer. Uh, F. Down to F. Face the same amount. Probably need to raise the octave on that. And up to the head before. Oh wait, no, I need boot F add. Get where I want you to go. This definitely could be more intuitive. I say that outright, and the lack of level sharing in this version does not help its case. Might actually be better on the Wii U, but haven't tried that version. Do a very basic beat. Boom, pow. Ow. And go.
Oh, I messed up the meter somewhere. <laughs> Oh, you know what? This is like an invisible note zero, so the first beat is here, and the pow should. Go in some scope. And... This. Eh, something's still off about that. Yeah, I'll just keep it boom. Sorry, pals, but you sound weak. Maybe it wasn't the pals' fault, maybe it was the note. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, the no place mission on the pal. Pay attention to what you wrote, death <laughs> rim. How do you rem? How do you mess up a song that you made? It's possible. Gotta believe. Uh. That'd be halfway. Yeah, that'd be half. Okay, this should sound correct. Yes. All right. Halfway on the <sighs> be halfway. Octave adjustment. All right. Maybe I'll add add the baseline or the other thing. Maybe I should add the core. I'm not gonna do the whole song. Like I'm basically just gonna stop there as far as measures go. Again, I don't want this segment to run too long. It's supposed to be small and focused. Ah, uh, but what would be good for chords here? The organ. The organ would, of course, be the chordgen. Alright, we got a F sharp major. It's gonna be the F and the B flat. Uh, B flat. Let's see if that works the way I'm expecting. That did not sound like the correct chord. 
which is worrisome. Oh, I gave a flat to the F? That's what I did. I'm looking on my screen and it says G flat. But that'd be a sharp in F term. Okay, that sounds like the right chord now. Good job, me. I can read. <laughs> I can write things and then read them correctly. <laughs> it happens. Alright, and then the second chord, which is the only other chord I need for this much of the song. Is flat F natural A flat. E down. Starting to get the hang of the interface as I'm about to finish. <laughs> okay, that should do it. But let's make it more level light. Okay, you can grab some bubbles in here. Oh, uh, but there's really no way out of there. So from a level design perspective, that sucks. Hi, Tom. Finishing this showcase of Tadpole Treble, namely its composition mode right now. A little zigzag there for the bubbles, and then put the symbol at the top. Jump. And that will be cool. There, have a mushroom. Don't really do anything. A little bit of pure water. Alright. Now, play the level I've made. Or rather, the segment of the level that I've made. Wait, how did I- did, did I die? Is that why it stopped halfway? Did I accidentally hit pause somehow? Hitting a button sends me back out to the- but how am I supposed to jump with the simple thing? Hold on, I want to play the level. <laughs> Maybe if I save it. Of course, the theme song, or rather the first few notes of the theme song. A downplay. Oh, they actually have a couple pre-made in here. <laughs> what was that noise off that? Putting all the notes back in place. Oh, it's only A that sends you back to the interface. I can use the other button. Let's say that one more time. I hit 
A again, because that's the button I was mostly using it. There you go, playable level. Sort of. Essentially load up one of their pre-made ones and see what those are about. I didn't know those existed. Yeah, what do you think? Joyous Ode, Nefarious, or the History of N? You would like to choose between those three songs that I've never seen before. Uh, which will it be? Alright, tell you what, joy us out then, because that one said it. There's that wonderful sound again. <laughs> I hit A. Oh, it's just out the joy. I might actually die on Hold the Joy. I made it. Barely, but I made it. Hey, let's take out the joy and raise the BPM to the max. I dare myself. Therefore, I will do it. Gotta find the beginning of the song again. Holy crud, this is taking a long time to scroll. Can I just click on the start button up here? That would have been faster. <laughs> I hit A again! I hit it again! And I died! Yay! <laughs> Alright, well, that concludes this overview of Tadpole Treble, so thanks for watching this segment, very first premiere segment of The Downplay. If you are on stream, we'll be switching to a multiplayer game in just a moment. But, next Saturday, expect another weird game showcase like this one on the second episode, now known as The Downplay. Let's hear that theme song one more time, because I can.